Eat me, eat me, eat me. Hola Beatles, my name is Ad and I'm gonna do the best food tour here in Valencia. Let's go. It's a new adventure each and every day. Ed, what we doing? Time to try and create in another city. Yeah, we about to take off the digital nomad. And you know where he about. This is the Beatle. Hey, the Beatle channel. It's the Beatle. Yeah, the Beatle channel. Let's go. Wow. Guys, this is one of the most famous places here in Valencia, El Mercat. So basically, this is like a market uh, right in the center of the old town. All the goods that you want, all the vegetables, meat, fish, and stuff like that. Let's check it out. Let's go inside. I like this tapas very much. I'm gonna try now. We got some tapas with shrimp, with anchos, with olives, with uh, octopus or squid. I think it's gonna be super tasty. Yeah, you should grab these tapas with a bottle of nice Spanish beer and some tortilla. Basically, it's like potato with eggs, and you can choose like uh, cheese, tomato sauce, and stuff like that. I'm gonna try it. Actually, I like comparing the food in McDonald's uh, in different uh, cities and even countries. So the Spanish McDonald's has its own unique sandwiches, especially for breakfast. So basically, we have the sandwich with uh, some jamón and with a tortilla. This is like gazpacho, it's tomato sauce basically, not soup, but the sauce. So whenever you are here in Spain, Barcelona, Valencia, Madrid, just come to McDonald's and order some breakfast with tortilla and with a sandwich with a jamón and tomato sauce. Ah, so fresh. It's amazing. Don't you like it? I paid for tortilla, 150 euros, and three euros for all these tapas. Oh my god. Actually, the best way to start your day here in Valencia is come to El Mercado and try all these uh, tapas, jamón, tortillas and stuff like that. You will be happy all the day long. I'm happy. We should try two seafood paella, Spanish paella. One of the most popular dishes here. Look at this beautiful guy on the plate. They don't serve one portion only. You have to order for two and that is the minimum. The whole this pan costs around 30 euros here. That's it guys and this cafe is situated right on the beach. Guys, you know what? I posted a picture in my YouTube community and uh, asked you to guess the city. We got a winner. Here you see his uh, Insta profile, so congratulate him. Actually, it was hard to guess the city by that picture. We found some Korean restaurant called Ramen. It's not Spanish, but who told you that my food tour in Valencia should be only with Spanish dishes? No. Cheers. We got a huge menu. Miso soups, ramen soups. This Korean music drives me crazy. It's so cute. The Korean beer. Uh, I like Spanish or Ukrainian much better. Look what we have on every single table. Okay. Thank you. I like this. Mm.
We got our dumplings, Korean dumplings. Mm. Um, it's with chicken. So crispy outside and so juicy inside. Look what they brought me. It is huge. The biggest ramen soup which I've ever seen in my life. <clears throat> wow, it's picante. Wow, it's, it is spicy. This is ramen with duck. Mm -hmm. Duck meat. Tasty, delicious. So many ingredients, so many details, different, you know? Yeah, the Beetle Channel, let's go! So guys, we keep on making our food tour here in Valencia. I've ordered some squids, some sardines, and tuna tartar. Remember my advice from Madeira. When you pick a table, sit down, and while you're waiting for your meal, just grab a beer and drink some beer. You will not have to wait long. Thank you. Very nice tartar with avocado, with kimchi, mayonnaise, some greens. The mayo is so picante, yeah, spicy. And it complements the tuna and avocado because avocado is a neutral. No, I, I like it. I like it. It's good tartar. But I would like to make the uh, pieces of tuna a little bit uh, smaller. Now we got the squids. Look at this. I like it even better than tartar. No, it's nice. I like it really. Eat me, eat me, eat me. With sardines, they a lot like smaller than those that uh, I tried in Madeira. Nothing special, but it's but it's good. A lot of small bones, you just have to get rid of them and then you, you're ready to eat. Yeah, the Beetle Channel, let's go! Guys, this is super famous Spanish dessert, churros. So guys, basically churros uh, looks like this. It's crispy and very sweet. But you know what? You can you can add toppings, chocolate, uh, sugar, um, jam, whatsoever. Very nice. It's good. Yeah, the Beetle Channel, let's go! Guys, we're here uh, right near the El Corte Inglés uh, shopping mall and this is uh, the Café Montmartre and we <laughs> we actually uh, eating the menu do dia so the menu of the day and we chose the pasta bolognese but I have already eaten it um, the meat with uh, some potatoes and uh, uh, the fish with the uh, vegetables. It's gonna be around 35 euros for both. So, yeah, hey. the Beetle Channel, let's go! Also with tomato and with jamon iberico. 
Here is the true Spanish breakfast. Some toast with uh, tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. Uh, some chorizo, some eggs. How do you like it? Mm -hmm. Guess what? Paella. Uh, this time we got a mixed uh, paella with seafood and with meat. I guess it's like a pork and the chicken meat here and some shrimps, some mussels and some... How, how do you call it? How do you call it, guys? You want some shrimp? Ah, I want this too. Chicken. You don't want pork. It's a uh, rib. Ribs. Okay, let's try. You want some lemon? Okay, let's try. Guys, on this uh, square, a lot of construction here. But I hope it's not disturbing you, okay? So. Frankly speaking, I don't like this type of paella. Uh, probably because um, uh, it's all about mixture of meat and seafood. I don't really like to combine these two things. Why I bought it? I don't know, just to try it out. Do you like it? So-so. Uh, So-so. She doesn't like it. Oh my god. This guy is what I like the most, the shrimp. Yeah, the Beetle Channel, let's go! Guys, this is the traditional Spanish snack. And some full Starbucks macchiato. Macchiato is great. It's, it's just like, um, 